Oh, we are getting thirsty up in here. That's because it's Thirsty Thursday, so we're shaking up light and refreshing cocktails to help us all beat the summer heat. And some laryngitis. Jonathan Turner with D'Amico's Italian Market Cafe is joining us now. And Jonathan, thanks so much for being here. We're excited for your expansion at your restaurant in the village, Rice Village. What are you making for us today? You're starting with this cocktail here? Absolutely. It's Sar Scrapino. It's a classic Italian cocktail. Scrapino. And it is great for any... A uh, hot summer afternoon. Which little, we have a few of those. We have just a couple of those. <laughs> a few. A couple times that, a year. So that's vodka you just added, right? Correct. Okay. And uh, you can choose any vodka that you would like. We decided to go with Dripping Springs just because it is from Texas. Texas favorite. And we try to keep it as local as possible when, when we can. And what are you stirring up in here? So in here we have the vodka and we have some sorbetto. Um, you can pick any, choose any flavor you like. Um, we decided to go with a blood orange for mm. this one. Blood orange. And is sorbetto the same as sorbet? <laughs> Sort of. <laughs> it is very, very similar. Very similar. Yeah. Okay, so if someone wants to buy some sorbet at the grocery store, the drink will not be completely destroyed. Absolutely not. It'll still work. Absolutely not. So then you shake it. Absolutely, just to try to dissolve the sorbet. Okay. Just a little bit more. The sorbetto. This is the first time, really, we've ever had a cocktail made with sorbetto. I know. Courtney, first Houston time. Houston Life First. Houston Life First. So then we just put in our martini glass. Which I love, by the way. Wow, yeah, I know. Courtney loves a good martini glass. I, I do. I dump everything <laughs> out. <laughs> inadvertently in a martini glass. I can't hold it up straight. Go then figure. We, then we top it off with a little bit of Prosecco. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Look how awesome that is. And of course the garnish with a mint leaf on top. Absolutely. So this is kind of a dessert cocktail then? A dessert or like I said it for um, any nice uh, hot summer day. How about like for breakfast? An alternative. How about at 1.43 like in the mint. afternoon? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's so pretty. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I just blew the mint right off. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so excited about this. That is really good, too. Yes. That's very, very refreshing, nice. light. Oh, I like that. I'm going to keep that with me. Holy okay, crap. right? That's Isn't awesome. that good? Yes. Okay, so we're moving yeah. along to the expansion. Expansion. And what is this? So this is a cocktail made with plantation pineapple rum. Um, and we just completed our um, recent renovations at the restaurant. And so we needed a cocktail that would kind of scream in a new name for it. That's cool. So we thought, why not the expansion? That That's way it perfect. gets people in as well. Absolutely. Well, and also, in case people aren't familiar, you guys are an institution. 22 years, right, in Houston? Yes. So people know and love you guys as a staple in the community. And more space means even more room to do what you guys do best. Absolutely. Along with a brand new um, bar as well. So right when you walk in the front door, you can't miss the cocktails as well. Oh, perfect. perfect. It's made for us. <laughs> you see how the expansion is made there on the split screen. Pineapple run. <clears throat> rum, maraschino liquor, lime juice, orange juice, strawberry syrup. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been screaming at my son's oh, baseball tournament. Do I don't feel, sorry. I'm not sick. Jonathan, I was just going to ask you, is this uh, drink, the expansion, soothing for maybe a television host wrote? <laughs> absolutely. I noticed the citrus notes in it. Right, in the rum. Absolutely. The, the rum definitely thing. helps, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> my honey and lemon tea. <laughs> <laughs> and then, are you shaking this or we're going to pour it right over the ice? No, we are going to shake it. Okay. Absolutely. Gotta shake it. I know. I, do you have a cocktail shaker at home, Courtney? Yeah. Do you? I have three. <laughs> <laughs> in case you misplaced one, you have another one. Absolutely. For an emergency. Silly question. <laughs> one upstairs in the bathroom, <laughs> one in the garage. Front door, whatever. You don't have to hide from your husband. No. Don't and worry. then a uh, little lime slice, right? Absolutely. I noticed a color theme here with all these cocktails, Jonathan. You guys love this peachy orange, huh? It, uh... Screams summer as well, and people first eat with their eyes. Sure. So the more color, colorful, the better. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh, straw. Thank you, Jonathan. Yes, absolutely. Okay, while we're tasting, you move along and tell us what this one is. All right. I know that one, the Aperol Spritz. This is like classic <laughs> Italian drink. It is, and uh, the owners just, just got back from Italy um, just a couple weeks ago, and every day, every afternoon, people are on the sidewalks in the cafes in Italy, and this is what they're drinking, yeah. starting one, two in the afternoon, mornings, it doesn't matter. I need to go to Italy. Oh, <laughs> you sure do. Well, Aperol, by the way, it does have a little bit of a, almost like a bitterness to it, yes, right, Jonathan? Yes, it does. Um, it is an acquired taste, but it is, it's, I don't find it overly bitter anymore. Um, I think there are some that are a little more bitter. So. Do you find me overly bitter? Not at all. What about Courtney? <laughs> Not at all. Slightly? Okay. <laughs> no, no. A little bitterness is okay, right? It's okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and then what are you topping it off this with? This is oh, club, club soda, soda. yeah. Okay. This is a fever tree. We just found it to be a better product on the market. 
Nice. Yeah. Oh, that looks Top pretty. Top that off. It does look so pretty. A little really orange slice. And a little orange slice. Now, while we taste these, <clears throat> we started the show, Jonathan, with this punch. Can you walk <laughs> us through the, for the viewers so they know what it was? Thank you. So it, is, it has a sweet, rem, uh, sweet vermouth, carp, uh, Carpaño Blanco. It has uh, <clears throat> amaretto, uh, pomegranate juice, mm -hmm. uh, lime nice. juice, and topped with a little bit of um, uh, club soda. And then the nice thing about this is we really enjoy it because it's something that anybody at home can make. Um, it's great making it advance, put it on a big picture, and just have it for whenever people come over to go swimming at the house. It's really pretty, too. Uh, Jonathan Turner, thank you so much for stopping by. Absolutely. Thanks for all the cocktails. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Work day. And we can't wait to come see you at the We look forward to it. For we'll sure. be there. Yeah, we'll be there. Uh, and for more information <clears throat> about D'Amico's and their summer cocktails, to visit our website at Houston Life TV. You're going to be okay, baby. I know. I I'm some sorry. some drops in the other room. <laughs> still ahead, do you have a dating app, but maybe you still haven't found your match? Well, the problem could be your profile. How can you make it shine? We're back with more dating tips right after this. Cheers.